Hello everybody, how you doing? This is Mr. Dallas. Uh, on this video I'm going to talk about triangle congruency postulates, uh, example problems. Uh, this is part one here. Uh, let me go to a different slide here. I'm focusing on this video right here. I did a, a previous video under the basics of triangle congruency postulates. Uh, I'm doing a second video. This is part one uh, today, but I also have a part two video which goes over the harder kinds of example problems. Uh, go to my website dowshouse.com. Look under the second six weeks worth of lessons under these titles and you will find them. Uh, but again, I'm I'm focusing on just the, the basic, simple, uh, easier kinds of problems whenever we're talking about um, the five triangle congruency postulates. Uh, and so this question uh, starts off with state whether these pairs of triangles are congruent by side 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 angle side angle side angle 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 side or hypotenuse leg postulates. If none of these methods work, write none. None indicates that the triangles aren't congruent. If you have no idea what I'm talking about right here, you want to make sure that you go back and watch this video on my website. Uh, you can also look it up under YouTube. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to jump into these problems here. Uh, it says example one. Uh, now the whole point here is I'm trying to uh, figure out if these two triangles are congruent using one of these five postulates. Uh, now I'm trying to figure out which sides and angles are congruent to each other and then the relationships between the sides and angles is going to tell me which one of these postulates I can use. Uh, now keep in mind here, these triangles look the same on purpose. Uh, they're supposed to look the same. That we're trying to figure out if they're congruent or not. Uh, if this side and this side look the same, that doesn't mean they are the same. I need an indicator here telling me that these sides are congruent and since I have the same number of tick marks on each side, I know these are congruent. But if I did not have these tick marks, I cannot say that these are congruent. I can't add things to this problem to say, hey, these guys are congruent. The problems that we're working on here are they're giving you the information that you need to know. And if you don't have enough information, then your answer is going to be none, meaning that they aren't congruent. Uh, likewise, this angle and this angle are congruent because they have one arc. Uh, but this angle and this angle, I can't say for 100% certainty that they're congruent. So I can't just say, hey, uh, they look the same, so I'm going to make them the same. You can't do that. So uh, if, if you have to add information or you don't know what's going on here, uh, then chances are it's either going to be none or you need to watch these videos again. So looking at uh, example one, uh, we have uh, this side is congruent to this side. Again, because they have the same number of tick marks. I know this angle and this angle are congruent because they have the same number of arcs. This side's congruent to this side because they have the same number of tick marks. And so right now, I've got two sides and an angle, two sides and an angle. If I look up here, that is three sides. This has two sides and an angle, so this is potentially going to be the answer. Two angles and a side, nope. Two, uh, two angles and a side, nope. Hypotenuse leg. Hypotenuse leg spells out this word right here. Not a very... Uh, a uh, good word to say, so I'm not going to say it, uh, but if you ever get this ASS and it's a right triangle, then it is automatically going to be uh, uh, going, it's probably going to be a hypotenuse leg. Uh, but in this case, hypotenuse leg has an angle on two sides, and so if I look here, an angle on two sides, angle on two sides, so it could either be side angle side or the hypotenuse leg. Now again, I said this is for right triangles, I don't see a right angle in anywhere, so this is not hypotenuse leg, so I'm focusing on side angle side. Uh, for it to be side angle side, we need to have an angle directly between the two sides we're focusing on. We need to have an included angle. And if I look here, this angle is included in these sides. It's in between these two sides that I'm, I'm focusing on. So I can prove that this triangle and this triangle here have the same side angle side relationship here. And again, if I start with this side here and I move to this side here, it goes side angle side, or if I go backwards, side angle side. Either way I go, it spells out side angle side. Likewise here, side angle side, side angle side. So since these sides and angles all correspond to each other and are all congruent in the same configuration, I can prove those triangles are congruent by side angle side, po side, angle side postulate. Example two, we have this angle is congruent to this angle. Let me, let me change colors here. Sorry about that. We have this angle is congruent to this angle, this side is congruent to this side, and this angle is congruent to this angle. So I have two angles and a side, two angles and a side, two, three sides, two sides and an angle. Ah, two angles and a side, two angles and a side. This is an angle and two sides. So it's going to be one of these guys right here. And so um, if I look, the side that I'm focusing on here is directly between the two angles I'm looking at. The side is directly between the two angles, and that is going to be the angle side angle because this is an included side. Uh, the side is directly between the two angles I'm focusing on, versus here, the side is not between the two angles I'm focusing on. 
And so this is, I can prove these two triangles are congruent by the angle side angle postulate. And if I look here, angle side angle if I go that direction, angle side angle if I go the other direction, and likewise, these have the same relationship here. So these two triangles are congruent by the angle side angle postulate. Uh, two and three are, are kind of the same, but not, not exactly. This side's congruent to this side, this angle's congruent to this angle, this angle's congruent to this angle. And if I look here, I still have two angles and a side, two angles and a side, but notice the side is not directly between the two angles. And so if I look here, two angles and a side, I'm still focusing on these guys here because two angles and a side, two angles and a side, but notice the side is not an included side. This is a non-included side. It is not between the two angles. So since this side that is congruent is not between the two angles I'm focusing on, I can prove it by angle, angle, side. That spells out angle, angle, side. Likewise here, if I start at this A here, the side is not between the two angles that I'm looking at, and so this still spells out an angle, angle, side. I can prove these two triangles are congruent by the angle, angle, side postulate. Now what if I want the other direction? What if I want side, angle, angle? If you ever get SAA, there's no side angle angle postulate. You've got to flip this around and make this an angle side angle. So if you ever get SAA, swap it around and make it angle angle side. But hopefully you understand the difference here. This is an included side. It's in between the two angles. This is a non-included side. It's not in between the two angles. Uh, three more problems and we'll call it quits on this video. Uh, it says, uh, same question on top, uh, but notice I've kind of turned the triangles around and in a different order. Versus the previous one, I kind of just drag things over. Um, so this one here is a little trickier because I've kind of rotated or flipped around the triangles. But I'm still going to look at the little indicators here. This side's congruent to this side. This side's congruent to this side. This side's congruent to this side. And since each of these sides have a congruent corresponding side, uh, I have three sides. That's going to be the side, side, side. That's the only one here that has three S's. And so if I can prove that these uh, three sides here have congruent corresponding sides in the other triangle, I can prove these two triangles are congruent by the side, side, side postulate. Moving on to number five, uh, change colors again. Uh, this angle is congruent to this angle. This side's congruent to this side. And this angle is congruent to this angle. Um, something looks weird here. I'm thinking this guy should have been congruent, or this guy should have been congruent over here. So this is kind of giving you a hint of what this might be. Uh, but let's keep going here. I have two angles in a side, two angles in a side here. So I'm looking back at these guys again. Two angles in a side, two angles in a side. Now this guy here, this side is not between the two angles I'm focusing on. This is a non-included side, so this is an angle angle side. And if I look over here, the side is directly between the two angles, and so this is an angle side angle. Since these conflict, I cannot prove these are congruent to each other, and so therefore these triangles, um, well they're not congruent, I'm going to write down none. And so there we go. Now if I look at number six, uh, let me, sorry, let me say that again. Since these do not, uh, aren't the same, I can't prove that they're congruent to each other. And then the final problem I have here is number six. Um, I have an angle congruent to this angle. This side's congruent to this side. This side's congruent to this side. So I have an angle and two sides. I have an angle and two sides here. So it can either be the side angle side, or remember hypotenuse leg is an angle side side with a right triangle or a right angle. And so it's going to be either of these two here. For it to be side angle side, the angle has to be directly between the two uh, sides I'm focusing on. So if I look between these two sides here, they're connecting right here at this angle. This angle would have to be congruent to this one right here for there to be an angle, a uh, side angle side. But since this angle is not directly between the two angles, I can't say this is an included angle, so it's not a side angle side. So let's look at the uh, hypotenuse leg. Do I have a right triangle here? Absolutely. These are both right triangles, so let's fit in the bill. Hypotenuse leg, I'm looking at a hypotenuse. Are the hypotenuses congruent to each other? Absolutely. And then do I have another set of sides that are congruent? Absolutely. And so this is a hypotenuse leg. In other words, it spells out ASS. I have an A and two S's, and it's a right triangle, so I can prove these two triangles are congruent by the hypotenuse leg. Uh, again, we're focusing on the hypotenuses. I have hypotenuses that are congruent. I'm focusing on another set of sides. That's what legs are on a right triangle. And I've got this side and this side, or this leg and this leg are congruent to each other. And therefore, since it's a right triangle, I can prove these triangles are congruent uh, using hypotenuse leg. 
Anyways, hopefully this helps you understand uh, these kinds of problems. And uh, make sure you look at my part two video on my website or on YouTube. And uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.